At the Stark County Health Department, we have three service areas to serve our community. We have the administration and support services, which offers birth and death certificates and health educational programs. We have a nursing service area, which offers clinical and outreach to community programs and projects as well. And then we also have an environmental health service area that does the inspections for restaurants, septic systems, water wells, and other nuisance programs as well. The Star County Health Department did play a vital role throughout the pandemic. And when we look back at the very beginning and we look at our epidemiologist and, and doing the epidemiology piece of it and the contact tracing all the way through our mitigation efforts and even with the vaccinations, we can see that we did play quite a vital role. However, looking back, we realized that it took the support of all the agencies across the county to really help us and assist us throughout this. One of the biggest impacts uh, throughout the pandemic as far as partnerships um, has to be our COVID vaccination clinics. There were so many different agencies that helped. Um, there was so much support. We cannot thank enough the Stark County Board of Developmental Disabilities. They provided a beautiful facility for us to use. They also had gracious staff that helped us. They had nurses that were vaccinating alongside of our public health nurses too. We also had great support from SARTA. SARTA helped with bringing folks um, that possibly were homebound and who couldn't get to our clinics. We also have this team uh, this group of volunteers, and they're called the Medical Reserve Corps, or MRC for short, and it's a group of 587 volunteers, and they're both medical and non-medical folks that help us out. Um, another piece or partnership of this huge impact is the public themselves. Um, it's everything that they did. They would come into our clinics and they would show such appreciation um, to all of our staff and all of our volunteers for everything we were doing. In the pandemic, we received funding to help our department deal with the case and contact tracing um, for COVID. And uh, since then, we've been able to utilize that resource for other programs in health education and communication with the public. Um, one of those is the Safe Stark uh, overdose prevention platform. And this is a, um, a drug overdose prevention resource where we've really tried to compile all of the uh, resources that Stark County has to offer uh, to help with uh, prevention, treatment and recovery and harm reduction for opiate addiction and substance use disorder uh, into one central location. So another program that we were able to uh, use the resources like the GIS technology from we got through COVID was our Dear Stark Women platform and this was a project that was really built around a survey and a focus group uh, from the women in Stark County so over 400 ladies participated and we were able to build this resource um, based on their answers to address what they uh, thought about and the improvements that we could make about the system of care in Star County. And so we have resources on there about affordable care options and transportation to their um, appointments. And uh, we've just added a child care provider locator based off of feedback that we had received from the community. And we have plans to expand it to include like training for professionals as well as empowerment for when women go into their appointments, they can know what they uh, have uh, available to them and, and feel good about the health care that they receive in Stark County.